I'm Lindy from Thermal Cookware and now that the weather's cooling down it's a great time for pea and ham soup. It also happens to be one of Gil's favourites and uh, basically we're just going to do the ham hock and the split peas in water and that's going to simmer on the stove for 10 minutes and into the outer container. Now I've got a ham hock and split peas that I've actually did overnight last night. I like to do it in two steps because then you can fit a lot more in your saucepan when it comes time to adding the vegetables. So we've got this hock pea and ham and I'm taking out the ham hock and while I'm shredding the ham off the bone I'm going to be stir frying the vegetables to go in there. Now we've got onion, celery and while I've got a, a collection of parsnip potato, carrot sweet potato, really it's one of those things all root vegetables are fabulous in pea and ham soup so you can use whatever you've got in your cupboard or whatever you've managed to buy today but um, I'm doing basically all of the root vegetables. I'm giving them a bit of a stir fry before I add it back into the pot. Okay, now while that's stir frying, I'm just going to shred my ham off the bone here. Now once those vegetables have browned enough, they can go into the saucepan. Okay, you just have to make sure the split peas don't catch on the bottom, so just a bit of a stir. And then the shredded ham is going to go back in. It only needs another five minutes because of course the ham and the peas are already cooked. So you're just really heating those vegetables through and then it's going to continue cooking in the shuttle chef. That's now had its five minutes simmering so it can all go into the outer container and um, while it would only take possibly an hour or two because the ham and peas are cooked and you're only waiting on the vegetables to cook, you can now leave that all day and it's just going to get better and better the longer it's in there for. And you've got at least 10 hours, but it's still going to be piping hot and doesn't need to be reheated. Ah, Gil, here's your hearty pea and ham soup. Oh, beautiful, Lindy. And some homemade bread I cooked last night. Yeah, that surprises me, this bread. that It comes out like a bought one and it's done in a shuttle chef. Absolutely. And uh, child-friendly bread, no crusts. Mm-hmm. No curly hair. No curly hair. Look, we did. I settled for hair, mate. <laughs> True.